Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you my least favorite books of 2019. So in general 2019 was a very good reading year for me. I enjoyed a lot of the books that I read but there were a few stragglers that I did not enjoy as much as the rest. So these are the, definitely when I was going through my bullet journal these were the ones that like stood out for me that I just did not enjoy. Um, so yeah without further ado let's get started. So starting out, I'm going to first talk about the Tales and Teacup book club pick that we had to end out the year with, and it was Little Women, and I was so disappointed with this one. I hated it so much, and a lot of you felt the same way about this. Just the characters were whiny, they complained about everything. There was no character growth in terms of them learning from their mistakes and just being grateful for what they had. They always wanted more, and their poverty was something that they always talked about, and they were just never happy with like appreciative of what they did have and so this one I was not happy with and a lot of you guys felt the same way I really like a, this book was ahead of its times in term in terms of like some of the themes it did talk about but I just did not like it and a lot of you guys felt the same way I still haven't seen the movie yet we're gonna go see it on Monday what day would that be the sixth um, so I'm excited to see how I would like it a lot of people are saying it's better than the book and the reviews have been really good so I'm excited for that but despite all that hype that I have for the movie I just did not like the original book next this is one I got this for Christmas a couple years ago and I was like I just need to get it off my shelf or try it so I tried it and it is you are a badass by Jen Sinkero and yeah I did not like this one I'm not really one for self-help books but this one really bothered me she kind of just doesn't really stick to like a point and she's very creative of saying the exact same thing over and over and over again so I do applaud her for kind of doing that thing like being able to say the same thing over and over again like in like different ways is very difficult so but I just did not like this one I didn't feel like there are like some points that I pulled from it but overall like I feel like I didn't really need it um, but I felt like she didn't really do a good job of really saying anything because I felt like she wasn't really saying anything at all um, so I don't really understand all the hype around this how is it sold two million copies I don't know but yeah it just wasn't my for me this was a book that my friend wanted to read. She reads this every year at Christmas time, so we read this for our little book club. And we're actually gonna watch the movie tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll like that a little bit better, but it was Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Laura Myrical. I think like part of me for, like I think part of it was that I'm not used to kind of reading YA anymore because I do tend to skew more adult with my reading, so that was part of it. But I also found some of the characters to be so immature her it was they just created drama for the sake of being like sake of drama I felt like the characters weren't authentic weren't real or just like real representations of teenagers and some of the stuff they did in here just made me roll my eyes and I was like oh my god so this is probably next to Little Women probably my least favorite book of 2019 I just did not like it maybe I'll like the movie a little bit better but I felt some of the stuff in here was problematic and if it was written today I feel like people would have a lot of things to ridicule about this book but because this book is relatively old like I remember seeing this when I was younger I don't even know when it was published let's see 2008 so it's pretty old um, kind of like relatively old for me um, but yeah I just didn't like it any book that uses the R word I find to be very problematic and there are so many other problematic aspects in this book that I was just like mm-mm so this was a book that I was really excited about. I saw it everywhere on Goodreads, Amazon, like everywhere basically. And I had high expectations going into it and it just fell flat. And it is The Tattooist of Auschwitz and it's based off a true story about this, these two people that fall in love in a concentration camp and the one guy is the, um, who does the tattoos for the new prisoners. And it, I found, like I'm not saying his story or their story is not valid. It's not as good as some of the other, uh, kind of based on true stories but it was just the writing this what I found out later is that the author is a screenwriter so the writing was very choppy and it showed and like now that I know she was a screenwriter it's obvious like it would be like he went to the park the park was closed like it would be like that like very choppy sentences that were just 
could have been of making it like it could have flown a lot better but it was just really choppy and stop and go I just didn't like the way it was written and it could have been a lot better like I said the story has like I'm not saying the story was bad in any way like their story is heartbreaking that they had to go through it it was just the way this book was written and they're in the back in here too the author's note like the the son of the two people in here wrote something that had more it, like it had a more emotional impact on me when there's few like page and a half that he wrote about his parents than this entire book so I feel like if the son maybe had wrote this book I would have enjoyed it a lot better but yeah I just was not a fan of the author's writing her syntax all of it and lastly this was a book that my aunt picked for our book club and I didn't really enjoy that much and it is Resistance Women by Jennifer Cheverini how you say it but yeah this book is a monster it's almost 600 pages and again it's one that is based off of a true story so I'm not saying that their story was any less significant than the other ones but I just didn't like again with the writing in here this book as you can see it's very very big and I feel like at least a solid 200 pages could have been taken out of here the so it's based off of the the group of people that tried that were part of the resistance or known as the Red Orchestra during World War II and they were trying to overthrow the German government they were kind of helping like pass information to the allies and all of that stuff so I felt like that part was really interesting but I just did not like the author's writing she just went on and on and on about some mundane things that didn't really add to the story the characters or anything it just kind of felt very repetitive in that sense and I just wasn't the biggest fan of the writing like I said it just went on and on people were kind of in the Goodreads review they were kind of going on about the political agenda of this book I thought it was very relevant as it is kind of very parallels the kind of stuff going on in World War II with the kind of the rhetoric and the racism and all that and how it's kind of paralleling American politics like I think that is very relevant and I liked how she integrated that in there and there are some parts in here that I really enjoyed but for the most part I felt this book to be very dry like not a lot was going on which is disappointing because I feel like their story is very valid and significant and not really something that you learn about in school so I felt like if this was executed a little bit differently if 200 pages were kind of shaven off of this book I felt like I would have enjoyed it a lot better so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what some of your least favorite books were if you've read Little Women I'm sure you guys will probably say that too if you've joined us for reading that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye guys